Hey everybody, it's me, Wildman Beats here, and this is going to be episode one of Assassin's Creed Unity. And boy, this has some loud audio. <laughs> Um, we'll get to that later, but anyway moving on from Assassin's Creed Rogue where Shea betrays the Assassins for the Templars um, This one is in France if I'm not mistaken and supposed to take part during the French Revolution So we'll see how they're able to spin this off into the Assassin and Templar rivalry um, during uh, the revolution so um Anyway, thank you for coming to watch this video. I hope you enjoy, and otherwise, let's get into it. The past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences DNA. of our ancestors. Ooh. After three <laughs> decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. There we, we have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Helix. Where the past is your playground. What happened to Abst oh, oh, Power by Abstergo? They snuck it in there. What, Abstergo go bankrupt or something? What in the world is all this? I signed up to play Assassin's Creed Unity. What are all these? They're all locked. Oh, they're all locked. Oh, I can only do the first one. Hmm. Also, we know Almost all of these people. I don't know the Jazz A Junkies. Don't know a hell in Hibernia. Hibernia? Is that actually a thing? Don't know the Bladed Cross. That looks like it could be like Attila or something. Okay, that's Edward. That's uh, Aveline. That's Connor. That's gotta be Altair. I... She was in the... the uh, what was that ds or game boy one of those like small handheld games i never played that that's seo that looks like it could be hatham but i'm not convinced he's kind of skinny there you know <laughs> but but that it's probably hatham and then that is rodrigo borja this I have no clue, but it's the only one we got, so let's find out who they are. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Wait, was jack de molay the one of the templars that altair fought at the like near the end of assassin's creed one i thought he didn't have a beard though i thought he was bald and no beard this guy's got a big beard so maybe maybe i'm thinking of somebody else yeah, assassin's creed one was a long time ago and my memory isn't great oh this looks cool Paris. Okay, it can't be Altair if this is in France. <laughs> that was an acre. Who goes there? A friend of the temple. Floarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn. 
damn you, man. Uh-oh. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. They're under attack by the French. And that's where I come in. Maybe. We are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. Oh, I'm playing as his brother. Okay. Oh, Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand is at work here. The Pope. The assassins. Assassins. I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins the Mongol are Khans. Massive, my friend. Their anarchic delusions of virulent as the plague. Less easily eradicated. Wh I totally enabled subtitles. Where are they? Subtitles turn off. What? Oh, it turned a lot of things. Huh, it didn't save my setting changes. Maybe the graphic changes weren't saved then either. Ultra high, these were saved. Hmm. Okay. What was that? We will not prevail this night, but if we make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the top. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, Go! I know. Easy. This is a nice gambeson he's got on. The movement feels more fluid than it did in uh, Rogue. Well, it looks more fluid, I guess I should say. I'm, I'm not convinced yet if it feels more fluid. Oh, that that felt pretty nice. Wow. Whoa. How is he running so fast? <laughs> hey, oh, he's not even on it. Go, 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 go. Okay. Can't go that way. Why? Why isn't this working? Okay, I had to do this. I had to push the jump button to make him go over there. How are you doing, sir? Oh, you're very dead. Stop it! Stop who? Assassin. All right, let's go get him. Whoa. How is he so slow? Okay, maybe it's not that slow. Oh shit, he's behind me. Ooh. I got the first hit. It's a good sign.
No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, I like how my attacks are kind of slow. But like methodical. Oh. Oh, the book and the sword. They're pieces of Eden. Could that book be the manuscript from Assassin's Creed Rogue? <laughs> Codex Pater Intellectus. And the sword will rest here too. Where is this? Somewhere in, oh, so it must be that place in Paris. That's not good. He's dead. So did the assassin get the sword then? Seven years later. What's this all about? What's happening? Oh, they burn. Hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! Person. I curse you! Yeah, give him the curse! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! <laughs> Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, and now let's get what that was about? Ride. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. That's These guys fine. can have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, that's they want normal. control over history itself. If that's it's called train, Amazon, it lady. Over <laughs> and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD-16, B-13, I-87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, I don't you can care too much about your next. struggle. We'll I've waiting. got my own. Why do everybody else's struggles always have to be ours? All right, come on, show me your struggles. Oi, we've been here before. Anna. I think I was just here yesterday. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. 
And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Oh no. This is where I killed him yesterday. Shay's gonna be here and murder your father. Sorry, kid. What is that? What is she wearing? She looks like, uh, what's that, what's that movie where the Alice in Wonderland, you know, she looks kind of like the Mad Hatter. Come on. What kind of outfit is that? Well, I can't brag too much about what I'm wearing, but this is kind of normal, right? Yeah, see, it's what this guy's wearing. Can I punch? <laughs> Dang. He looking right at her butt. Oh, it's dark in here. Oh, God. He coughed on me. Oh. My bad. Don't even think about moving. Quickly, quickly. What are they gonna do to me? Who are you? Bet you can't Steel. Steal one. Is it really stealing? You think that guard's gonna like <laughs> get mad at me? Oh, he is. Put that back! Damn it! What the hell's going on? Put that away now. Do you know what the penalty is for stealing? Oh, and now I go in here. And he'll never know. Speak to the girl. Man. Isn't this when they're like, oh, chivalry was alive and well. Oh, I want to talk to you. Chivalry is when little Arno was stealing apples from the guard. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. We heard this conversation. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. That was Shay. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. <laughs> that's not what they care about right now. That was Shay. I don't away. think you're gonna like this, kid. Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely hope this Keep unfortunate up. affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judged nations by the character of their criminals, we should Maybe all be called father? barbarians. Come here, girl. Now. Father? Uh-oh. Your dad was an assa assassin.
Where's Shay? Anu. Anu. Look at me. Don't give it to him. Did he give it to him? So we're kind of picking up where Shay left off. Oh, with a big fast forward. Can't win fairly at cards, so you stoop the thieving, you bastard. Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man. Ooh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Oh, shit. Now I gotta beat you up. I just up. had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. Sorry. It's cool. Pardon, madam. It doesn't need a show for everyone. I got the hang of it now. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Why do the voices sound so muffled? Please excuse him. He's not housebroken. Got him. He can a blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Come over here and say that. No. Get back here. Gotta run again. Over there. The de Let's go. I'm up. gonna smash your skull into pace. Ah, ah no. yes. A wise man knows when to admit defeat, Victor. Let's go up. I can hide in here. How long is this going to take? Oh, it was waiting for me to get out. Kind of strange. So where am I now? And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh... A most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Why are you gambling? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll You're talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort, won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. Sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Did 
Gee, it seems like Arno has turned into a bit of a slacker. A gambling robber thief. Good for nothing society member. <laughs> So that's our introduction to Assassin's Creed Unity, which is weird. I don't know what that initial... Oh, Jesus. What the? I didn't realize that was an open window. It is. Um, but, uh... I don't know what that initial Templar thing was. It's interesting, but... So far, this game looks all right. And I think it's nice that it's picking up with something familiar you know we know arno because uh, why is the camera out of focus uh because shay killed him or killed his father right at the end of rogue so it's picking up right where rogue left off um the graphics though why does his face look like that his hair looks kind of crap like some parts of this game look good the shinies you know look at the the gold and the wood and the lights but dang why does his hair look so bad the sword looks nice yeah i feel like this is a 50 50 where like some stuff looks really nice and some stuff is like um, specifically his face doesn't look that great I can't remember how old this game is. Maybe it didn't come out very long after Rogue. Because I don't think Rogue was like anything crazy good. Um, graphically. But, uh... The movement is pretty interesting. Like his stance is different, the way he runs. Now when you're running, they've got free run down and free run up. So that could be nice. You get a little more agency over <laughs> what direction you go on the vertical plane when you're trying to run away from people but uh yeah so we'll definitely see what more this game has to offer in future episodes but that's gonna do it for episode one of assassin's creed unity so anyway thank you for coming to watch this video and thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell button as always have a great day